Hello everyone and welcome to episode number 11 of my casual uh, playthrough of Pokemon Infinite Fusion uh, with Debug Tool. Uh, it is recording, yay! So you, you may have noticed that I tend to have trouble recording, especially the second episode of every stream, I don't know why, uh, where I either double click on the recording button or I forget to click on the recording button and I somehow need to go back get the VOD and everything. It's not the, the case this time. I actually clicked on recording and it actually is recording. Yay! So, uh, big teaser last time. Big, big teaser. We didn't did do much actually, just going from Lavender Town to Celadon City took an hour somehow. So uh, yeah, I'm at, at Celadon City. Uh, you know, we know, everybody knows. Let's grab this Pokeball. Don't you dare touch it! That's my precious EV in there. Okay, now now that it's been said, if this is vanilla, if this is vanilla EV, I know what I'm doing with it. That's my precious EV in there. Me. I have to leave it there because I'm always working. But Eevee gets a bit lonely up here and it doesn't get much exercise. You don't even have a bed, lady. I'm just so busy all the time. I wish I could spend more time with it. Hey, would you mind doing me a favor and just walk my Eevee for me? How grand. Just walk it around the city for a while and bring it back when it's tired. A stroll with Eevee. So yeah, you just need to go walk around the city. You obviously cannot leave the city with Eevee. Um, and at some point, Eevee will be tired and will go back to its poke Pokeball and you have to bring it back here. Uh, sure. I'll walk your Eevee. Uh, that might be as much of an Eevee as I can get, just having it follow me a little bit around. Oh well. Better than nothing. Uh, now that that's done, I also... There's another thing that I need to walk for. So I'm gonna drop... Oh, that's a, an egg. That's an egg with a fusion inside of it. Um, let's put Goltar in... There we go. And yeah, I have a lot of Pokemon to fuse. I should start looking at fusions. I, I do that usually before a gym. So uh, I guess before Erika's gym, there might be like half an hour of me trying to fuse things. Might be. All right, let's go walk around. Why is it going so fast? Why is it going so fast? Thank you. Let's just go around, talk to people. My husband and I have never been outside of Sudan City. I have lived in Sudan City my whole life. I was a lot smaller when I was young. Yeah? Oh, it was a lot smaller. No, yeah, makes sense. If I had a strong Pokemon, I'd put on a mask at night and would go fight crime in the city with my Pokemon. I don't have any powers myself, but I can teach your Pokemon how to use theirs. What do you think? I'll teach them super power to one of your Pokemon. No. Well, that's too bad. Come back with 4,000 if you want to learn to move. I don't, but thanks. Team Rocket are all over the city. It's a bit scary, but they won't mess with you as long as you have them and leave them alone. And then I clipped through the stairs. I went to the Seven department store to buy some new clothes, but it turns out they only sell items for Pokemon trainers. Oh, that's, that's sad. I put some DNA splicers in the trash can downstairs. Now that I think about it, I sure hope that no Pokemon get near it. Don't worry, I'll... I'll take care. I'll make sure no Pokemon gets near it. Something jumped out of the trash can! Oh shit, a Pokemon did get near it. It's a Gluons! No, it's the Gluons! Do I consider that as a static Pokemon? Do I, do I have a rule that I can get static Pokemon on top of getting a random Pokemon in each zone? Do I want the blue ones? I kind of said I wouldn't get any already fused Pokemon. Unless I trade a fusion for it. Um, so, no. 
Nice. You baited me. Game. I feel baited. Which are your favorite? Cute Pokemon or strong Pokemon? Why not both? Some Pokemon are both cute and strong. Uh, like my starter? I just got this other kid. I think it's look in it looks incredibly cool, but my wife prefers small and cute Pokemon. Want to trade it for that Eevee of No? <laughs> what happens if you say yes? How heartless can you be? Can you trade the ladies Eevee for <gasps> I don't wanna try. I didn't save, I don't wanna try. I love this etiquette, but I have to think of my wife as well. Okay, I'm gonna save real quick. I'm gonna save. And I'm gonna try. Sure. No way. What if I go back to see the lady with another kid? What is she gonna say? What is she gonna say? I, I'm not gonna keep that safe, I'm gonna go back, don't worry. But what is she gonna say? Uh, I traded your Eevee away. <laughs> what? You traded it- you traded it away? But that's horrible! Eevee wasn't yours to trade. The nerve on you! How could you do such a thing? I never want to speak to you again, and you better leave right now. And I obtained a mud kip, and not even another kid. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that means this Eevee is probably not an Eevee. <gasps> oh no. Okay. Title screen. Uh, are you sure you want to quit the game and return to main menu? Yes. Would like to save? No. I don't- I can't believe it, you can trade the Eevee. <gasps> no! No! Uh, guys, I might have just screwed my save file by trying to cheese it. Uh, let's hope not. I'm restarting the game. I'm restarting the game. Let's hope that I didn't permanently screwed my save file. Just want to make sure it's working. Okay, it is. Oh no. Okay, I didn't. Oh jeez, thanks. Because that would have been the end of the series. I wouldn't have been able to continue otherwise. Oh, that was scary. Don't trade the Eevee away, guys. Don't. That shit is scary. I think the game corner is bad for our city's image, but it draws a lot of tourists, so what do I know? Team Rocket has been pretty active in the city as of late. To tell the truth, I find it a bit worrisome. My dream was to catch every single Pokemon. I was getting close to my goal, but then Silphco came along and developed fusion technology. Now, there are way too many Pokemon even for me to catch them all. Yeah, I'm never gonna try to get all of them. The, the one person that tries to get every single fusion is is crazy. I'm a collector. Come see me if you ever come across a rare bone, and I'll buy it from you. Do I have a rare bone? No, I don't. I'm a collector. Come see me if you ever come across a pearl string, and I'll buy it for, from you. I'm a collector. Big nugget. Okay. So, collectors are here. That's good. I'm blocking the entrance to the sewers. Why? Th that's none of their business. Why did you tell me that? You could have just shut up. Find what you need at Celadon Department Store. 
Oh, with everything in the store being randomized? Wait, if this EV is an actual EV, do I even have what I the stone I want? I don't. That's a problem. Well, let's see what they have. Welcome, how may I serve you? Uh, you have DNA Splicers, Lumberry, Chillinberry, Max Revive. Max Revives? Pokeball, Dreadblade, Grass Mail, Max Repel, PP Up, HP Up, uh, Red Shard, Magnet, Citrus Relic, Diamond Necklaces, you know, just randomly selling diamond necklaces. Uh, I could have sold some stuff. Welcome to the Sutherland's department store. Happy shopping! Do I have some stuff to sell? Grass Gem, sure. Uh, uh, I don't need two metronomes, I'm gonna keep one. Mental Herb. Uh, Dread Blade, Flowstone, Pearl, Growth Mulch, I don't know. I don't know if I might potentially need that. Lucky Punches, I don't need that many. I don't even need one, but I'm still gonna keep one just in case. Slowpoke Tail, Artstone, Waterstone, Relic Crown, okay. Let's go see what, what's in the department store. Uh, this episode is probably gonna be Southern City. <laughs> it's probably all gonna be in Southern City, or most of it. Uh, how may I serve you? So you have Roar, Dig, Brick Break, Double Team Attract. And you have Apical Berry Iron Ball, a Pokemon held item that cuts speed. It makes flying type and levitating holders susceptible to ground moves. I see if you have a thing that allows you to put it on an enemy. I can see how good that is. Candy Ball, a Pokeball that makes the cut Pokemon gain 5 levels in capture. Interesting. But I don't need it. Super Rebel keeps weak Pokemon at bay. It's a more powerful repel. Or repel, I guess you're supposed to say. Uh, for long outings, you should buy revives. You can identify Pokemon you got in trades by their ID numbers. Pokemon ability enhancers can be bought uh, only here. Use calcium to increase special abilities. Use carbos to increase speed. Do they even have it? No, they don't. They have a sky plate, a paralyzed heal, a lagging tail. A yellow apricorn, a water gem, and a big pearl. As well as a banana, a tasty fruit that grows in tropical regions. It restores the HP of a Pokemon by 30 points. An absorb bulb, uh, if the holder is hit by a water type move, its special attack will rise. Draco Blade, perfect ball. A peculiar, extremely low capture rate ball that makes the, po the cut Pokemon as strong as, po as possible in a few stats. That's interesting. Brick mail, fresh water, uh, and X special attack. Nothing crazy so far. Captured Pokemon are registered with an ID number and original trainer name. Eevee is getting tired. You should head back soon. Already? I feel like it's getting tired way faster than usual. Because I had to walk around this city like three times last time. <laughs> Like in my first playthrough. Alright, Eevee is getting tired. Let's go back. Is it even gonna be an Eevee? I feel like it's not gonna be an Eevee. Oh, you're back. How did Eevee enjoy its walk? Wow, it really seems to like you a lot. You know what? Why don't you keep it? I don't have enough time to take care of it, and it would be a lot happier with you. Just make sure it... Yeah, for... Don't... You know, I'm glad you forgot that I traded it away for a mud kip. Just make sure to pass by once in a while, so that I can see it. And it's a Waymer! I just went around the city with a whale following me. <laughs> uh, it's not even an Eevee. Oh no. Well, no Umbreon for me. I could always uh, cheat it to an Eevee, but I did randomize static Pokemon and gift Pokemon, so I, I guess it's my fault. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... 
I say I'm not gonna, and then I'm considering actually doing it and debug debugging it into an EV. But that's risky, because I don't know how it affects the stats. I did with the first Pokémon because I was intending on maxing its stats anyway. Yeah, okay, so that's where I was at. Pokemon is short for Poket Monster, uh, but no one ever says that anymore. Okay, that's the Evolution Stone guy. That has a Silk Scarf. Power of normal type moves, that can be interesting. Fire Stone, Smoke Ball, Poison Gem. Well, it has one stone. Poison Gem, Pretty Wing, and Pineapple Berry. Do I have a Silk Scarf already? I feel like I already have something that boosts normal type moves, don't I? Let me look. Not in my bag, but equipped maybe on a Pokemon? Uh, Dread Plate? Yeah, Silk Scarf, I already have one. I don't want too many of the same items, so I'm gonna grab it. Getting a Pokedol uh, for my girlfriend. This game is so fun, I can't wait for it to come out. A demo of Pikachu's Adventure 2. Is that Detective Pikachu? Or was there an actual na game named Pikachu's Adventure? I don't know. Sometimes bird Pokemon come to make their nest up here. It's nice to come here and get some fresh air. The machine gave me two sodas instead of one. I'm lucky. Uh, I wanted a second soda too. This has fresh water soda pot lemonade. I can see the whole cycling road from here. So, uh, if you know the game Red or Blue or Green or Yellow, you usually have to buy a lemonade, I think, for the, the guards that meet in Saf to Saffron City. Not in this one. This one is more akin to, I believe, Leaf Green. That was also a tea that you get from an old lady. Uh, so it's an item we're, we're gonna get from somewhere, someone, uh, that will bring to to the, the, the uh, guard. So not just buying something. Got my coughing and cinnabar. It's nice, but it breeds poison when it's angry. Have you ever seen a Pokemon like this one before? It's called Petalil. It doesn't live in Kento. I got it during my trip to Unova region. This? Don't go upstairs. I left some food out the other day, and now it's swarming with Rotatas. It do be swarming. Uh, I'm overwhelmed here. I've been trying to get rid of the Tadas for so long, I'm starting to think like one of them. Here, I can at least be useful by teaching you Super Fang to one of... Super Fang is the one that cuts health in half, isn't it? Well, I don't have any Pokémon that is able, but I want actually it potentially to learn it. But if it's the one that cuts health in half, I don't want it. I think it's Hyper Fang that is the good biting move. What do you think of my rare Dratini? I bought it with all the queens. I wanted the slots. Hello there, trainer. Uh, do you want me to teach the move Roost to your Pokemon? I don't have a TM for that. So I'm assuming it's not usually a TM that you get. I saw some strange men go down into the sewers earlier today. I wonder what they were up to. The sewers have dried up lately. I wonder what's up with that. That's the game corner, we'll be back. That's the hotel with the potential quests. Did I? No, I didn't complete enough quests. I'm conducting a study on the Pokemon Eevee. Could you show me the Pokemon that Eevee evolves into when it exposes to one of these two stones? AKA a Pecha Berry and a Grout Mulch, which I believe is usually a Sunstone or a Moonstone which is the other way you get a Moonstone, um, to evolve into an uh, Espeon or Umbreon, I think. It's either that or it's a Leaf Stone and Ice Stone uh, to evolve into Leafeon or Glaceon. 
Uh, no, sun or moon. So it is a sunstone or a moonstone, which was neither here, and I don't even have an Eevee. Could you show me such a Pokémon? No, I can't. Hello there, and unless I turn that Whalmer into an Eevee and gives it maximum stats. Because I can. Hello there, I'm looking to make an omelette. You, uh, won't you find me an egg so that I can make it happen? Any egg will do. Do I want to give the egg that I just got? You know what? How close is this egg from hatching? It doesn't seem close to hatch. I think I'll I'll save every now and then. I'll wait for it to be close to hatch. And if I don't like the Pokemon, I'll just give it to her instead. There's no legend that says that the bell in Lavender Town reveals its secrets if one rings it at night when the time is right. Yes, I just don't know when the time is right. I don't remember. I think it's like 3 in the morning. I'm not entirely sure what it means. Apparently there's a big prize awaiting. I think it's 3 in the morning. I just don't remember. Why? Alright, let's... Get that egg th close to hatching. Uh, it's gonna take a while, isn't it? Even with the super speed like that. Well, we might have for a minute or two. Because unless it's a fusion that I either super like, uh, or that allows us to complete another quest by being, for example, a water fire Pokemon, uh, then I don't really see the use in keeping whatever will hatch from this egg. I still want to try, just in case. It's not close for matching. Fusions take forever to hatch. Actually, I'm gonna keep going around, I guess. And I'll just speed redo the things that I did, if it matters. Is that a, like, black market thing? You there, are you here to buy a Pokémon? Here are the Pokémon we have for sale today. Tyreep, Behoot, and today's special offer, Ariano. Uh, for a, a measly 35... Go away if you don't want to buy anything. This isn't a zoo. Well, Pokemon Black Market, why not? Come on, Super Spicers are uh, a new and improved DNA Spicers. Try it out with the Luxury Ball. Super Spicers are quite rare to come by. Don't waste them on to unfuse Pokemon. Southern City is the largest in Kanto. Well, I guess Saffron is a bit larger, but more people live over here. I often wonder if it would feel what it will, would feel like to be a Pokemon. Uh, how do they experience the world? Do they even see things the same way as us? I don't know. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Uh, I do have cut. I was going to say, I don't have cut, so I can't go there. A gender stone. I I'm guessing that changes the gender of your Pokémon. A Pokémon trainer we have met before, remember? You special flute, if you if I show you the badge. Scope lens. 
and the TM Dig. Is it close? It may be close to etching. Okay. Let's get back to the hotel. Uh, I picked up two items, uh, three items, that's the only thing that I would have to redo if I decide to give the egg. As well as talk to this lady. Come on, hatch, 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 hatch. Hello, hello, hello. Imagine them just chatting in this room and just having the kid run by every now and then, just going circles in the corridor and being looking at the egg and saying, please hatch, please hatch, please hatch, please hatch. It's time to hatch, come on, come, come out, hatch. <laughs> That sounds crazy to me. I would be concerned for that kid's health. Like it's men his mental is blah his mental stability. Uh, it will hatch soon. Actually, I might as well save. I might as well save here. Now that it will hatch soon, so I don't have to go back and pick up the uh, items. Wow! Come on! Be either the coolest fusion ever... ...or... A fire water fusion or something or be super boring so I can just give you away give your egg away with no remorse actually let me proper save while the game is not sped up just to make sure that I'm not breaking the game again because I'm getting scared of corrupting the file. I might s save to a different save, just in case. A caterpoke! Okay, that's cute, but unnecessary. That's bug water. Uh, it is. It do be cute, but it do be very unnecessary. Tile screen, save to another slot just in case. I'm gonna save to slot C. We know. Tile screen, yes. Don't save. And I need to go to file B. File B. Looking to make an omelette, yes. Art boiled. Maybe he wants you to give an egg. Find me a Pokemon egg so I can make an omelette. Did you bring me a Pokemon egg? Yes. I. It's a cute Caterpie water thing animal. I, I'm not even sure what that... I guess Slowpoke is supposed to be some kind of hippo. So it's a hippo caterpillar thing. I'll teach a move soft boiled to one of your Pokemon. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The legend, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. 3 a.m., I believe, is the time that you have to ring the bell. I had to look it up. I, I'll be honest, I definitely had to look it up when I first did it. Damp mulch. What is that? A fertilizer to spread on subsoil where berries grow. A, ma a maniac will buy it for a high price. Okay. Wow, this kid's not messing around. Better make a run for it. Drat, they ran away. My ID's teamwork at Grunts knew about that old man we saw in the Pokemon Tower. Looks like some bloke called Mr. Fuji who runs a Pokemon orphanage. 
I was just pressing them for more information, but you distracted me and they got away. <sighs> well, they were just grunts anyway. The lowest of the low, so I doubt they know anything worthwhile. What we need to do is find whoever is in charge of this team rocket and take the whole thing down from the top. I guess I'll have to look around for their headquarters. Hmm. With so many of these grunts in this city, it just has to be nearby. I'll let you know if I find anything, Maya. That is, if I haven't already taken down their whole organization by the next time I see you. <laughs> Smell you later. What can all this noise possibly be about? Is this where all the commotion was coming from? There I was, grooming Tangela's vine, or, or Tangela, Tangela's vine, when the poor thing got startled by a loud noise and tore one of its vines. Oh, but it will grow back, don't worry. Did I hear that Team Rocket was causing trouble again? <sighs> they've been all over the city lately. Rumor has it they've made their base somewhere in the sewers. By the way, my name is Erika, I run the gym next door, when I'm not tending to my flowers. What? Team Rocket have kidnapped Mr. Fuji? This is worse than I thought. We have to do something about it. Follow me. We have to go after them. We'll get to the bottom of this. Uh, can I go visit the game center first? I forgot to do that. So that's where you can get the prize. Uh, welcome, you can exchange your coins for fabulous prizes, an abrac, leferi, pincer, cider, dratini, porygon. Okay, so those are the normal ones. I'm pretty sure if I click these options, like if I have coins and I actually buy them, uh, it's probably not going to be those Pokemon, and I don't, I'm not willing to find out what Pokemon they are. Uh, TM, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, Hyper Beam. Again, that's what it usually would be, but it's going to be randomized. I'm not willing to find out. That would require too much time invested in gambling. And I, in Fire Red, I already did quite a lot of gambling. Don't touch the poster over there. There's no secret switch behind it. Maya looked behind the poster. There's nothing there. Oh, wait. No secret switch? What? I told you there isn't anything behind that poster. Don't you act all surprised? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you need some some coins? Oh, but you need to have a coin case. Welcome to Sand and City Game Corner. We exchange your coin for fabulous prizes next door. And then there's people. They might say something. Put money in the slots. Gotta spend money. Easier to win uh, some machines than others. Luck is on your side today. Gambling is fun. Good lessons. Good lessons. Alright, let's go see... Let's go help Erika. With... Oh, I don't know. How about... A Pokemon that can... Oh, wait, no. That's the Pokemon I need to keep for Erika. But that's also the best Pokemon I have for Poison types. No, I have Yopover. Let's go with Yopover. I should also go and get another Pokemon. Just in case. So let's get to the box. I'm really tempted to turn that Whalmer into an Eevee. I'm sad I don't have an Eevee because I want my Umbreon. <laughs> but I don't even have a Moonstone, so I might debug in a, moon a Moonstone too. Uh, I don't know. Do I, do I even need another water Pokemon? Do I need another water Pokemon? Water... Pokemon... I don't think I do. But it's what the game gave me. Uh, for now I'll grab that. Yeah, for now I'll just grab that. Um... Oh, one person I could... Who was teaching Zen Edbutt? It was in one of the buildings, wasn't it? Because one of my Pokémon that could probably use Zen Edbutt is Zoray. 
Zorin has too many dark moves. Uh, who was the guy that teaches it? I believe it was one of the buildings. Was it you? That's the lady that teaches superpower. DNA splicers. I'll still look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Superpower. Or was it in the Pokemon Center? That's the guy that trades for cute Pokemon, to which you can give the Eevee, which I didn't and I but maybe should have. Because Mudkip is maybe more interesting. That's trading for Ponyta. Uh, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, Ice Punch. I'm pretty sure it was a guy. Not that one. Not that one. Not this lady. Where was the Edbutt guy? In the Sel Celadon department store? Oh, maybe this house. No, those are the collectors. Uh, was it even in Celadon City? I'm assuming it has to be. Or was it one of the things to sell? The... No, I'm pretty sure it was someone teaching it. Was it you? No. Okay, I don't remember where the guy that teaches Zen Edbutt was. I'm guessing that the answer is not in Celadon City, but somewhere on the outside. And that I just don't remember where they are. Which is kind of sad that I didn't think about the Zen Headbutt sooner. Uh, let's go quickly see. Was it someone... No rematch. You wanted a rematch with your sick Pokémon. You wanted a Fairy Grass Pokémon. It's someone I've talked to during this streaming session. You wanted to gamble. You want a rematch. You want a rematch. They all want rematches. You don't do anything. Huh. Was it in the Poké Tower? No. Alright, I don't remember. What time is it? 7 p.m. Whatever, if I find the Zenith Bud guy again. I'll try to remember that I do have someone that wants to learn this move, if they even can. I could look it up very quickly, actually. L let's see. Pokemon Infinite Fusion Zen Edbutt Move Tutor. Uh, special move to turn Pokemon and Pain Fusion. Uh, 
punch, thunder punch, coming to screen, super fang, self boil. Zen Headbutt, Route 7 from Accordion Player. In the oh, the Accordion Player. Okay. Right. Well, we're nearby. Pretty much the only guy I didn't think of talking to again. Yes, Zen Headbutt. To... Zorei is not able to learn it. But it might be interesting for Goltar. What would I replace? Swift, I guess? Because then Goltar would be relatively good against uh, poison Pokémon. Actually, it would be very good. Quad resist poison, cannot be poisoned, and would have a move that is good against poison. Okay, yeah. I'll replace Swift. That being said, uh, Goldar is now probably the best Pokémon to have against the next part of the game. Because we're going in the sewers! Which is a new zone, which means a new Pokémon to catch. Let's team up, we'll be stronger that way. I'll use my herbal medicine to heal your Pokemon, so don't worry about that. Alright, sewers. Be sharp and execute. I'm not a fan of any of them. And I cannot get away. Because I'm not fast enough. And again, I cannot get away. Okay, this is gonna be... Sludge Bomb and Execute. Zenith Butt on Bishard. Okay, Bite on the Bishard. Okay. I'll first see what I, what Pokemon I can get. I can get a Pikachu. Okay, for the goods of it, I'll switch in Ember because Ember is fast. I'm gonna put Ember first for the time being, just while I'm scouting for Pokémon. Uh, the sewers are all double battles, so that's kind of sad. I could go for Pikachu, because of course Pikachu has a lot of cute fusions. Tentacruel, maybe. I'm not a fan of Bishard, but I don't have a lot of Steel-type Pokémon. So it could be interesting. I'm that's not something I wanted to see. <laughs> Execute I don't I think I don't have that many grass or psychic type. So execute is interesting in that sense, but Fusions with Execute are... I have too many water types. Uh, I have some electric types already. I have the prettiest electric type. Trico, so that's a grass type. Not my favorite starter.
Okay, so I feel like I've seen pretty much all the Pokémon. I guess I'm gonna go for Execute just because... Grasp Psychic. And I don't have a mu I don't have a lot of these. So I need to kill, kill one and keep the other. So I'm gonna kill... That one. Hope that she doesn't kill. And... Master Ball, the other one. And Ember is level 32. I could have called it Egg, but... Alright, Pokemon. Goltar, come back here. Bag. Uh, Max Repel, use. Four X special attack six. I still don't understand what that is. All right, let's go in. Hey, you guys aren't from Team Rocket. Hey, we claimed Super Spurs. Go find your own place to hang out. Double battle with Erica. Max and Virginia. Okay, I like the mix of. Cuffing and Voltorb. That looks kind of, kind of good. I'm gonna Zen Edbutt this one. Again, I'm gonna Zen Headbutt this one. Yeah, we we brought Grass Pokemon against. A bunch of poison Pokemon. That's not your your best idea, Erica. Holy shit, I do no damage to them. Glucute. Tell me you at least have uh, a psychic move. Let's see. Really? Your glue cube doesn't even have a psychic move. Uh... Alright, let's fight. Or not. Goldar, please evolve. Trash. <laughs> That's what you are. But no, don't learn trash. A diamond necklace. And a Lancet Berry. Our leader is really strong, that's why we can't fail. Yeah, we'll see about that. Although, to be fair, the leader is one of the first fights that I really struggled in my first playthrough. of course. There we go. Gold tar. People really shouldn't be around in the sewers. Well, well, what do we have here? 
You have a slow and ugly Pokemon. I mean, not speaking of yours. Oh, Needle Thing and Golmer. They kind of work actually together. That's kind of cute. Um. I guess I'm gonna go for the Needle Thing. What is your game? Why is Erika's plan to just razor, like, razor leaf all the time? How is that a good idea? <sighs> even when there's only one, it's not even because she wants to hit both of them. It's literally just... she's doing crap. Now she's using Constrict? I don't get you! Huh, and it's on these words that I'm gonna end this episode because... Why, Erica? Why? Alright, <laughs> Thank you, YouTube, for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Uh, next time we should finish the sewers. Maybe fight Erika. And try to go back to the Pokemon Tower to save Mr. Fuji. In some kind of order. Uh, maybe not this one. Maybe try to do the wait till 3 a.m. to ring the bell or something. I'll see. Uh, with all of that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this episode. And I hope that you will have a good day, a good evening, or a good night, depending on when you see this. I will see you in a few days, as always, for the next episode. Bye, guys.